This time I'm Mike Noble digging. The backcountry diggers go back to that late 1700s plantation location. The finds come very slow at first, but start to pick up as the day goes on. Wait till the very end to see the most amazing find out there yet. Well, hey guys, you know, today we're heading out on another group hunt, and we are going back to that uh, late 1700s plantation we've hit in the last two group hunts. Um, we're going to uh, possibly, I know I am, uh, hit different locations out there. Uh, I believe Bill discovered a location of another, another building we didn't even know was there. He found an iron patch. So, uh, I'm going to swing around that area, I believe. I know I am. And uh, I don't know where everybody else is going to go, but I'm hoping we find some really cool stuff. Uh, our group is going to be a little bit smaller this time. Not everybody can make it today, but uh, those of us who can, well, we're going to have some fun. So, here we go. Well, this is going to be our crew for the day. Just me. Bill, Tracy, and Gene, but I'm sure with Gene we'll go and find some good stuff. Normally the way it works, right? Obviously. Always. Uh, but we got our work cut out for us today. Uh, landowner has not been around and uh, the grass is high. It is not cut. So we're going to have a hard time finding a place to hit. I wanted to hit right over there because Bill found a, an iron bed over there. So, but I don't know if I'll be able to get swinging in there or not. But we shall see and we shall try to get some good stuff out of here. I'm up on this hill. This is where Bill said he found his iron patch. I don't know if I'm gonna find much at all. You can see how high this grass is compared to my uh, metal detector there. <laughs> this is uh, not something you can easily swing through. So I'm going to tell you right now, if I do find something in here, it's because I put the effort out and I did it. So here's hoping I find something, I guess. All right, folks, I had to step out of that uh, field up there. I was in the direct sun and I don't do the heat very well. I'm not very good with that. Uh, and I didn't find anything to dig anyhow. So um, that field is going to have to wait, at least on me. If they bush hog it or hay it, yeah, I'm not too far from the road right here. Or I get it cut at some point, maybe even uh, this fall or winter, yeah, I'll be up there and I'll hit it. Big old trucks going by. But I stepped back in the woods. It's a lot cooler in here. Um, and I found myself standing right on an old, abandoned, forgotten road. So I'm going to swing along this road and uh, see if I can come up with something here. So... Uh, Happy uh, ha uh, circumstance here, you know, going to do the heat up there, but I found me a road. Well, not having too much luck yet, uh, but uh, metal detecting is a hobby of patience. Um, found a couple oldish bullets like this, that's the second one. Uh, my understanding is they're late 1800s, early 1900s, 
not exactly what we're looking for but uh, this is enjoyable it's very hot and like I said I don't do too good in the hot but you know I'm enjoying nature I heard a turkey cluck <laughs> just before I uh, turned the camera on I don't know how the other guys yeah, I'm still close to that road too I don't know how the other guys are doing um, hopefully they're coming up with some nice stuff we all just kind of split off our own different ways so uh, I'm hoping this turns out to be a good day in spite of what I may be finding I hope some of the other guys pull it off I just found a nice deep piece at the edge of this field here I don't know it looks like a plow implement to me I don't recognize that one but uh, that's one that uh, Tracy missed caught up the bill and uh, actually he caught up to me <laughs> and uh, he's having about the same kind of luck I am so far he's got that old jar jar lid like a canning uh, food canning jar and he got I don't want to cut him this is old copper or old brass it's uh, brittle it's thick but you can see where it's, it's breaking off that has been around for a long time but we have no idea what that would have been from you got anything else no, about it I can head stamps and ammunition yeah that's about it I just caught up to these guys uh, they kind of hunted around in the area here and uh, Tracy didn't find anything he hasn't found anything yet uh, but Gene is earning his nickname of Lucky Gene he uh, found a couple gooders hey, let me uh, put you on macro here and let you take a look at these I found this and I cannot make out you can see that writing right over there and there's something here it looks like a number I cannot make out what that is the back is pretty much wiped I think this is a token feels like a very well made token but just take a look at that if you guys can make something out on that let me know I'll hold it here for a little bit but this is not the best that he's found or well, maybe it is I don't know what this is like I said this may be something amazing flip it over so they can see the back yeah I had it flipped over sorry about that I just yeah it's, 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 uh, it's pretty white there but he found a one cent this is American early American currency right here a nine, or 1839 1839 large cent that's really cool I love it see I knew he's going to do that I, I just knew he's going to do that Bill hollers Mike I got a silver coin he says I think it's a spill I said we got to see what this is alright Bill 41, 43. Oh, look at that, right there. Sure enough. Mercury dimes. And maybe another one? Uh, looks like a nail. Yeah. Well, this is this is right close to where you find your other mercury, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like right over there. 41 and 43, you say. Let's see if we can get some... Uh, I don't see a mint on there, necessarily. That's cool, man. You ever find a spill before? Uh, not in a long time. Not in a long time? Not in a long time. All right, guys. I have my car started. I was ready to roll out of here. And this guy comes over, kind of holding his head like, what did I just find? This is awesome. Uh, if it's what I think it is, and uh, this is, uh, from what we've been told, this is potentially a big part of uh, the history of this area here, of this property. So, um, Bill, who 
we decided to stick around and dig a little bit longer. And after finding a two silver coin spill, he has found this. Now, yeah, it's upside down to me, but there. It's hard to see, and I'll post some pictures for it better. In fact, let me go on macro here. There. But it's hard to see. That potentially is a South Carolina militia button. You see the palm tree here. You can definitely see the sea over there. But this is pewter. This is a pewter South Carolina militia button. Now, it's already trying to fall apart, but uh, this is uh, something pretty special. Also, and he's just showing me, he got part of a, of a bell, a, a Conestoga bell or something. That's not a crotal, that's a, yeah, that's the other kind, which is very cool. But that button, wow. Nice uh, last ditch dig, buddy. Yeah, I know, right? Absolutely. I'm glad you caught me before I left. <laughs> I I thought you already left, honestly. I heard the car <laughs> start up. I'm like, wait, Mike's still here? <laughs> sure was. I'm glad I was, too. Awesome, man. Well, guys, there you go. That's our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is just a few minutes after Bill found that that uh, button. And uh, if that button is what I think it is, I think it's a pewter. It is pewter. I think it is a South Carolina militia button. That happens to be something that we know about this property. Uh, we know somebody was in the South Carolina militia. And to have it confirmed through metal detecting like that just blows your mind. I love it when that happens. Goosebumps. Guys, I hope you enjoy the video. Until next time, we'll catch you later. Bye.